Having trouble with navel orange worm in the orchard? Sidetrack, now miso mating disruption is your best bet to minimize loss and maximize profitability. Used with Tresse's new multi-gender lures for your monitoring program, you can achieve the quality yields you deserve. Contact your local sales rep today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you here today at uh, UC's Pistachio Day in, in Visalia. I'm, I'm here with one of the presenters today, David Haviland from the UC Cooperative Extension, IPM advisor in, in Kern County. Wanted to talk specifically about uh, Gill's mealybug. It's been a, a problem in pistachios, particularly this past year. Can you tell us about what we saw this past year and what growers can do better this year? Yeah, no, absolutely. So, so Gill's mealybugs are a relatively new pest for pistachios. It's been in California oh, about 15 years or so. And so you've got a couple things going on. First of all, it continues to spread. So every year there's growers that are dealing with it for the first time, and there's always a learning curve there. Uh, but the other thing is 2019 was just a really odd year. Uh, this mealybug has three generations, and the first of those generations per year, you get a nice group of synchronized crawlers, typically in the second half of May toward the beginning of June. And when they're there, they're vulnerable. Um, you know, they can pretty much be taken care of, uh, usually pretty easily at that time. But 2019 was just an odd year. Um, as you recall, uh, in May we had uh, just you know odd spring weather. The mealybugs didn't quite know when it was spring. They didn't. You know, they kind of came out. They kind of didn't come out. You didn't get a nice synchronized group of crawlers. And then we had all that rain. And so just all that combined, the treatment conditions weren't like they normally are and control was just unacceptable. It uh, didn't really matter what you treated with the, the control. Um, you know, though, though pesticides and things did provide some assistance, nothing provided the control that it typically does. And so there were a lot of very disappointed growers at the end of the year. Right, so, so moving forward into the 2020 here season, uh, what recommendations, I mean, obviously we don't know how the weather's gonna be this spring, right. um, but if, if, we, if we do get a similar spring where things kind of get off track, so you've got different stages of a development at the same time with these, uh, the millibug, what, what retrospect, you know, what could have been, what could have we done better? Yeah, well, like the key this year is just stay the course. Um, you know, real, think of it as 2019 was probably a fluke, not, an, not indicative of the way every year in the future is gonna be. So what that means is monitor in the spring, uh, particularly in April and May and you want to watch for when those females are ready to, to have uh, crawlers and produce them. Right when those crawlers come out, second half of May, that's when you want to get them. So, you know, we expect that this year with, with a good timing again, um, probably not uh, a lot of rain in May. I mean, that's, that certainly was the exception, not the norm. Um, I think all the products, um, typically products, you know, like Movento, Asale, and Centaur, those are the three most, uh, three most common. Um, those three products properly timed this year will probably do well. If they don't, okay, here's the backup you asked about, is you know, once those treatments are made, watch things in the second half of June, the beginning of July. Most likely control will be, will be excellent, uh, what we normally see in a year. Um, if that's the case, great. If that's not the case, there's a second round of crawler emergence that occurs in the second half of July. So watch for that. That would be the second opportunity to do something about the mealybugs. Because once you get to August 1st, you get lots of wax, and uh, they're just completely protected in wax and the covering that's over them. Anything you try to do after about August 1st is not going to be effective. So definitely don't wait till then. Uh, but I think following the, the recommendations that have been around for a decade, this next year will probably provide the results that, that we've had in every year except for 2019. All right. Well, hey, thank you, David. Uh, let's stay on, on top of that this season. Read more about these things in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.